Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this we're here, we're going to see how we can do camera calibration and set up the whole pipeline with my new camera calibration software. We have all these camera calibration boards. So I'm going to calibrate a camera throughout this video. Let's just jump into a code editor. I'm going to open up my webcam, capture a bunch of images of the calibration board and walk you through that process. We'll then take those images, throw it into the camera calibration software. And with just a few clicks, we can calibrate the camera, export them and use it in our own applications and projects. So just open up a Python script here here basically just to generate a bunch of images the main idea here is that we're going to open up our video capture so a webcam could be any camera stream video file and so on we can open it up read in the frames and then just save them into a directory right now i'm just saving it into this output directory that we can go in and specify so that will just be a folder called output images and that's pretty much everything that we have to do we just have a counter incrementing for every time we hit s on our keyboard so if it is escape on our keyboard it's going to terminate the whole program, shut down the camera and so on. If we hit S, it's going to save the images into our directory. So let's just open up a terminal. Let's just generate some images that we can use for camera calibration. So right now we can just run the Python script. So Python generate images.py. Right now it should open up the webcam. So again, I just need to switch it here because I have multiple cameras attached to my computer. There we go. We have opened up my MacBook webcam here on the left side. I'm now going to just grab the calibration board here. Let's turn it the other way around. We have all the information down here at the bottom, as you can see. So we have the number of rows, columns, square size, market size, and also the Aruko dictionary. So this is a Charuko board that we can use for high precision camera calibration. So let me just hold the board here up at the top. Let's capture some images. We just need to cover around like half of the image frame. If I hit S on the keyboard, it's just going to save an image to the directory. I'm just going to hold it a bit away here. We see that there are some reflections from our light here up at the top, but these are like high detail calibration boards. So it's a really nice surface here. So it reflects the light in a ni nice way. It doesn't really give any reflections. It doesn't destroy the camera calibration. I'm just capturing a bunch of images right now. I'm just hitting S, moving it around in the image frame, trying to cover as much as possible. There we go. Now we should have enough images around 10 to 20 is more than fine. Then we can always sort them as well. So I hit escape on the keyboard and now we can see that we have written 10 images to the folder. Let's open up the folder to the left. We have all these images in our output image directory. I'm just going to grab it over here. So this is the first image. Then we can just take these images, throw it into the camera calibration software. It will take care of all of it for us. Over time, I'm going to add functionality where you can open up like a web RTC stream. So basically like a live stream to our web server, connect any camera to it, capture the images directly in there and so on. But right now you can upload images or a video file and it will take care of all of it for you. So pretty much just good to go now. Now we can just go in, throw in the images into the camera calibration software and we're good to go. So right now I've just jumped straight into the Shopify store. I have a bunch of boards here laying around ready to go. If you want to do camera calibration right out of the box, very good quality, high precision calibration that you can do. We have the boards in here, but we also have the camera calibration software. Pretty easy to use. You can go in and check out the software, the boards, but also if you need custom solutions, we can do all of that. There's also a plugin here if you want to learn more about camera calibration, but I pretty much cover all of it here on the channel. So you just have to do camera calibration once, then you can use those parameters for your application and projects going forward. But it's really important that we do camera calibration because the cameras are always different. Even though we have 10 of the same cameras, we still need to do camera calibration on each individual one of them because there will always be a slight change from camera to camera. The camera parameters, intrinsic parameters, extrinsic parameters, if you have multiple cameras looking at the boards, and we know, want to know the relation between the cameras, we can use all that information for tons of computer vision algorithms out there, and also just removing distortion in our images. So normally if you have a fisheye lens, you'll have some kind of like bending lines in the boundaries of the images, and then it will basically just be like greater and greater in the magnitude, the closer you come to the image boundaries. When we do camera calibration, we can actually like straight up those lines so we get perfectly vertical lines all the way in our image frame so this is what we use camera calibration for let's now go in and take a look at the software just throw our images into it and we're good to go so i'm just pulling it up here on the left side i can drag it over and we can see the application so right now when we get the software we have the camera calibrator we don't need to specify a lot so right now we just have a single camera support stereo camera if you want to use that you can upload images or a video file right now we have already captured images we should be good to go and we can just drop it in here directly so i have my output images here on the right just going to copy all of them 
throw it in here. We have our 10 images. So now it's just going to upload it. We can then go over to the camera calibration tab, specify the parameters that is in the bottom here on the board. And again, these are just the default boards. So those are also the default parameters in the software. You don't have to do anything instead of spending like hours trying to set up camera calibration, verify the results and so on. This can speed it up significantly, save your ton of time and you can just use it out of the box. Single camera, standard camera model. You can also use a fisheye lens, checkerboard or Cheruka board. In this example, we're using the Cheruka board. If you just need some simple camera calibration, you can also get away with the traditional um, checkerboard. So here we can specify the columns, 18 rows, 11 square size and also the marker size the dictionary let's go for this one here so it's just a four by four with 100 different unique markers so each individual marker a ruka marker on the board is unique and you can act like also get the targets or the ids for each individual one of those hit run calibration it will just take a few seconds and we'll get the results now we can also see we get the results instantly can download the camera calibration data. Let's just do that for now and we can pull it up and see all the information. There we go. So these are the calibration results that we get. Right now we can just go in and take a look at the website after, but we just get the JSON file. We can load that in, use it in our own applications and projects. So we get the intrinsic parameters here, optical center, and also our focal length. We can specify the parameters here as well. And we also get the distortion parameters right here, the rotation vectors, and also the translation vectors for each individual board. So let's now just jump back to it again. Now we can see that we're taking each of these individual markers, Aruka markers in our calibration board. And we can even see that we have a small ID here. So we have ID zero, one, two, so all of these markers will be unique. We take all of them, we use this information. And one of the reasons why we need high quality calibration boards is basically just just a slight variation, just a few millimeters, a few pixels will make a huge difference once we want to reproject our points back again. So we have our optic points. We need to know the real world distances between each individual points. We know the distance between the points in the pixels, and then we can use that information to calibrate our cameras. And also this specific pattern, so we have all these dots in rows and columns, so it's a perfect pattern used for camera calibration. We have the camera matrix, the focal length here in the x direction and in the y direction optical center here so that is pretty much just close to half the image width and also the image height distortion coefficient so we will probably get like three or four for that or like four or five and then we can use this to undistort our image so we remove all like the bare distortion or penhusion distortion but i cover all of that as well now we can see the reprojection error. So the reprojection error, we want to have that as close as possible to zero. And these are some pretty good reprojection errors, but also a fairly good camera that we have in the MacBook webcam. But this is very essential. This is very good to use because again, we want to correct for this error and reprojection error. We even get all the image indexes to see if one of the boards or like one of the boards or like one of the images are act like off, then we can remove that from our camera calibration rerun it again and make sure that we have the lowest reprojection error as possible because if we have some outliers here and there it's going to affect the results and we don't want that if we just go a bit further up we also have this drop down menu so basically just all the boards if you want to take a look at them you can just scroll through them and you'll be able to see each individual detections pretty much just instantly inside this web application everything running on a web server so if we go a little bit further down, the last thing here that we have is a 3D visualization tool. So this is basically just all the boards with respect to each other. So here you can see like if we have the camera on top, then we can just see, okay, how is the boards oriented, tilted, rotated and so on with respect to the camera that can also have some relevant information. But the most important ones are the reprojection errors. And we want to have these as close as possible to zero. If we have it under like 0 0.02, it's more than fine. We can use our results. So last one here is just download the results and use the code examples, both for single camera, stereo camera, standard model, fisheye model, and so on. These Python examples, C++ examples will change depending on if you want to use a fisheye lens, pinhole model, single camera, or a stereo camera. Right now we just have a single camera, standard camera calibration model, and we can just use this Python script. There we go. We can copy it or just go over here to the right. We have already downloaded the data. Now we can go inside our editor again, instead of just having this generate images. Let's now go in and create a new file, create a new text file. Let's minimize our terminal here. There we go. Now we can just copy paste our code snippet in, specify our calibration data. So we have dash 13 in this example here. 
We have the camera matrix. So right now, let's just call this Kali. There we go. We have a calibration data. If we go up at the top, we can extract camera matrix and also the distortion parameters. And those are the ones that we need for now, at least to just go in and undistort our images. So right now we just open up our JSON file. We extract the matrix intrinsic parameters and the distortion parameters. We read in our images. So let's now we could just go in and grab one of the images that we extracted to start with. Let's just go with a random one. We copy the relative path, paste it in here. We just op uh, open it up with OpenCV. There we go. We get the new optimal camera matrix based on our width and the height of our image, distortion parameters, and also our matrix. Then we can call this undistort. We can also set up some remap functions and so on that can do the exact same thing. But this undistortion is just going to basically just rectify or like make all the lines horizontal or vertical. Go in, do the corrections based on the distortion parameters. Then we can go ahead and take the region of interest because again, once we do camera calibration, it's just going to crop the image slightly, especially if you have a lot of distortion because it needs to basically like stretch the image, crop it a bit to be able to um, make those lines vertical. Then we can just write the results here or we can show them directly. So CV2, show. you don't really have to do this, but this is the resulting image that you can use in your own applications and projects directly. Rate key zero. So we just wait until we hit a key before we save our image. There we go. We should be good to go. We can open up our new terminal and just run this Python script Kali.py. Now we can run it. I've just copied this JSON file directly into it. So now we can see that our image is now calibrated. I'm just going to hit a key on the keyboard. It's going to throw out the calibrate underscore results JPEG. Just pull that one up. Calibrated results. There we go. We can just open it in Finder so we can compare it side by side. And we had this image free as well. So let's go in and grab that one. So if we take a look at the results, we can actually like go in and see that these lines here are a bit more vertical. At least if we zoom in a lot, we can see that we get, we start to get a bit of uh, a bit of bending effect in the boundaries of the checkerboard here, or like in the calibration board, where here it looks a bit more vertical. But again, there's not a lot of distortion in this camera out of the box. So if you have a fisheye lens and so on with a lot of distortion, so you know that when you have a fisheye lens, you can actually like go in and correct for that as well. Might be because you choose a specific lens to get a larger field of view and so on. And then you can go ahead and do corrections for it in software. But then here you can see this is the calibration results. You can directly use it. It doesn't really crop it as much. It, if we had more distortion, it will crop it significantly more, probably like all the way in here if we had a lot of distortion in the images. So this is how you can do camera calibration in just a few clicks with high precision camera calibration boards. Definitely go ahead and check it out. If you're interested, I also have a ton of camera calibration resources here on the channel. I'm going to create other videos here on the channel covering the software more, both when I add new features how you can use it, different types of boards and so on, and also different situations, stereo camera, how you can combine all of that and set up a whole computer vision project and pipeline. Work together, put everything together. Hope you guys have learned a ton from this video. Check it out and then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning. If you want to get into an AI career, you should definitely check out my AI career program. The program is basically all my experiences from how I went from an average student to where I am today. The program consists of three main categories. We have my technical courses, my personal branding course, and then the AI career path. We have a whole community in there with like-minded people supporting each other. And every week we will have weekly live calls where I support and help all of you guys. Over time, more courses, resources, code templates, and so on will be added to the program. You will give lifetime access. So the sooner you join, the more value you will get for your money. Let me help you take your AI career to the next levels.